even before big events like Art Prize, Grand Rapids was a growing artist community. And for nearly a decade now, the Fulton Street Artisans Market has been showcasing that talent. This weekend kicks off the 2012 season, and Michelle Lovell is here with a just a really small look at what you've got. And I just, you brought in sweets for us. We did. I'm thinking we could just take some off the back. I know. Actually, Michelle suggested it. No one's going to say it. We do it off the back here. These are beautiful. They are. And um, Judy from Oh Sweet is there every week at uh, the front of the market, and she's got wonderful things, and macaroons and cupcakes, and even oh. more than you see here. Oh. She's going to be making some cinnamon French toast, too. Oh, my and goodness. And coffee. <laughs> and coffee. And when you're jammy, Sunday right. morning, right, or right after church. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, there are so many great pieces here. Uh, besides the sweets that, mm -hmm. you know, you've already sold us on, let's right. talk about some of the jewelry pieces. Those are really stunning. Yeah, thank you. And, and there's a wonderful, different uh, variety of things. You know, there's um, artists do their own, um, some of them cut their own gems and set their own jewelry or it's beading uh, but it's just wonderful and that's a good variety of um, different things we have over 300 artisans signed oh up this goodness. year so this is just a small sample I could probably fill the room or something well you know I think you're allowed there's something a little bit different happening of where you are you're at the Fulton Street Farmers Market mm -hmm. and there has been a huge renovation that's happened mm, there yeah, everything has that allowed you to do things differently this year uh, yeah, um, mostly it's because of the roof on top. Mm -hmm. uh, we were putting up tarps. We'd have to stand up on the tables and put our tarps up with bungee cords every week. <laughs> so it's going to be really nice to have that covering, and we could just focus on setting our tables And up. nice for visitors, too, because mm -hmm. you have artists there who are making things. I mean, so when you go to buy these things, you're actually talking to the person that created it. Yes, yep. Yep, that's one of the features that we love about the market is you can talk to the person that um, made what you're going to be buying. Mm -hmm. um, and like you said, there are so many artists this year and every year, mm -hmm. but I mean, there's such a wide array of, I mean, from cupcakes to jewelry and what is this right here? That's a wonderful wood block. Um, Stunning. Uh, yep. It, he makes some wonderful things. Uh, uh, the cutting board that the jewelry's on is also made uh, by Mike. And uh, um, th they're very heavy, solid wood, and just so wonderfully constructed. Okay. And so these beautiful uh, porcelain or ceramic mm -hmm. things uh, um, here, what are those? They're gorgeous. Yep. This here, uh, we wanted to set it up. They're actually uh, ceramic sculptures to hang on the wall. Oh, wow. And um, they're just beautiful. And uh, she does other little pieces, too like little hearts. That is so great. Yeah, it is so fun to go to the market. We love going as a family. Uh, the requirements to be selling at the market include you have to basically be making these items yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you know you're going to get something authentic if you go to buy it. Right, and local. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. We actually, um, we, uh, we take a look to make sure everybody is doing uh, handmade things because it's just so wonderful to be able to see things that are handmade in the area and then talk to the person who made them. Okay. Wow. So mm -hmm. if people want to come out and get some goodies and really support local artists, what it's a time, great place. where is it all happening? Um, Sundays from 11 to 3. Um, uh, the beginning day is this coming Sunday. We're just so excited. And uh, through the end of September on Sundays. And it's at the Fulton Street Farmer's Market, which runs through the week, and then we take over on Sundays. And that's at the corner of Fuller and Fulton. Yeah, okay, so we don't want to let you go without bringing attention to what you do, oh, Michelle, yeah. <laughs> because we've had you on 8 West before, and yes. you're very good with the sweater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're making something new now. And, yep, and I, uh, it's almost like a challenge. How many things can I make out of one sweater? Because, <laughs> you know, that takes a, a bigger piece of the sweater and then mm -hmm. with the smaller pieces I make dragons and then with the smaller pieces I make mice. This is so, <laughs> so cute. cute. And it's so green thank too you. to be reusing things. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is really, really awesome. Yeah, thank well, you. Well, thanks for coming in today and showing all these beautiful things to us and introducing this opportunity to some of us who may be watching. Thank, thank you. you so much. And thanks. thanks for bringing in the gorgeous sweets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> That's West.